What's up, my Milk Money Millionaires? Joshua here with a quick market update video. Sorry, there's not going to be a polished edited video. I just saw some crazy news on Wall Street bets striking back. Uh, so GameStop rallied into the close. So recently, I've noticed on Reddit that they didn't quite want to give up. But definitely some of the spirit had died. But a lot of people still were, were swearing they were going to hold on. And they, they really believed that they could still pump this stock again. And after Roy and Kitty bought 50 thousand more shares i believe uh, i think it was fifty thousand more shares you can double check me on on that but it started re-inspiring some of the faith and one, one of my good friends decided to buy some some calls on that news a couple days ago so he's making some good money right now hopefully that this this trend continues but what happened was there was you know some slight steady gains in the stock over the last week uh, and then today the stock doubled and roared into the close. So it actually got halted twice. There was a ton of volume at the end of the trading day. It wasn't, it was relatively quiet early on. Let's pull up the, the ticker here, but it was literally after the market closed. Um, I actually wanted to make an update video on LMT breaking out and maybe I'll finish with that for you as well. But let's, let's look at GameStop's action. Um, but the thing is with with hype I'm <laughs> I preach about getting good quality companies but it's kind of fun to play with the hype stuff every once in a while. Uh it is pretty risky. So you definitely want to be careful. But if you were to buy in when it was quiet like earlier in the week, you'd be really happy right now. Um but at the same time, last time it pumped it pumped for a couple of days. So we'll see if this trend continues. It's going to be interesting to see if this momentum is the same as last time. But yeah, let's kind of look at the price action today. So it was pretty quiet and just around 53 bucks all day. And then all of a sudden, getting close to the end of the day, it pumped a big volume spike, brought it up to 62, and then it went sideways. I wonder if that was when it was halted the first time. I just saw the news report saying it was halted twice. And then the last hour going into the close, it went absolutely nuts before dumping as maybe day traders got out, I don't know, uh, selling off. And now it has been going absolutely nuts. Um, I decided just for for the heck of it, when my, my buddy told me, he's like, hey, I bought some calls the other day and look at GameStop. I'm like, holy crap. So I, after hours, bought a couple shares just here. I don't want to go too crazy with the hype and gambling type stocks, but it is fun every once in a while to put a few bucks in. So I just bought um, a couple of shares here just in case I went nuts. And so far... It is, and we'll see. Hopefully, it might be dumping by the morning. We shall see. But I just thought this was a crazy update. Um, most people probably didn't even know this was happening because I didn't. Uh, but all of this price actually happening into the close makes me think that maybe tomorrow it'll open up relatively high because there's going to be a lot of panic buying. Maybe it's going to dump into the close because so many people have profits from getting in up here. Oh, we have a long candle up top here. So maybe this could be the end of it. After hours is absolutely nuts. We could wake up and it could be... 50 bucks again so anyway crazy news um i did notice also let's see if that trend is also continuing with amc following the leader S same thing um that has been doing well i still have a few puts that i sold on amc to take advantage of the some of the volatility recently and i guess the news of gamestop <laughs> hit the wires and then uh the follow trade has happened so now it's turning around and dumping short term we'll see if this holds pretty interesting look out tomorrow if you have uh pre-market trading or maybe you want to get in early but it's definitely super super risky uh let's kind of look back at what the dump did last time so when you're on momentum the secret to really making money in momentum stocks is to be in before everybody else so while things are quiet so if you were to buy i'm on the one minute chart that's why but if you were to buy while it's quiet you have a lot less risk with all this volatility. If you start trying to chase it up here and up here, the odds of it tanking on you, or even just a mild correction like right here, you're going to be panicked and stopped out. But sometimes if you could be the first guy, second guy in, so the first guy pumped it up to here, and then you could have did a follow trade here and said, okay, it's starting to pump and jump in, then you still have a margin of safety. So by tomorrow, you might be the third or fourth guy. It might be too late. Um, but yeah, let's go back and see what happened last time. Can is there still enough short interest? I remember hearing that they still had a very large short interest. So the possibility of the squeeze existing, um, I guess is still true. So last time it was quiet, 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 right? And then it started moving a little bit. So here it starts moving a little bit and then bam, the first day of pump, but that was during the day. So I had time to get hype. And then the next day was absolutely rocket ship before it turned around a lot of profit taking from these people probably. So maybe tomorrow will be something similar where we have an open, I bet you we have a high open and then dump. So 
If you believe that the squeeze is happening again, the safest thing to do is probably wait for the dump and get in. But patterns don't always repeat. Um, this could be it. It could open up down tomorrow. All these people after hours are like, jackpot, gotcha, and get out of the positions. Who knows? This stuff is crazy. Whenever you play stocks like this, please always make sure you're only investing a small amount of money that you could afford to lose. This is your fun money. Uh, it's ironic. Earlier today, I made a, a video about Warren Buffett stocks, which is what I believe most of your portfolio should be, but I can't resist having a little bit of fun here and there with stocks like this, but I would recommend not doing it a lot. Um, a few shares ain't going to kill you. Uh, if you can't resist, but definitely if you are the type of person to want to put your whole portfolio in this, you better be prepared to be in a lot of pain. And I'm not willing to do that. I need to protect my wealth uh, and then just have a little bit of fun. Um, and so that's what I would recommend. Milk Money would not recommend. I'm not a financial advisor, just a YouTuber, so I do not recommend buying the stock. I'm just giving you the news. I think it's kind of crazy. I think this is a fun story. I did do a video explaining uh, the whole Wall Street Bets phenomenon earlier, if you want to check that out on my channel. Um, hopefully I'll have some updates of a bunch of people striking back and, and getting the real squeeze. Maybe this will be the Volkswagen style where it pumped, dumped, and went nuts. Who knows? Uh, maybe it's a one-day blip. But uh, it's fun no matter what to watch. So good luck to y'all, y'all. Hopefully you, if you had diamond hands before and you were sitting on those losses, hopefully you got some of them back today. Hopefully tomorrow you get even more back. Um, good luck to everybody. Now, the follow trade, I guess, would be AMC. Let's see if they've pumped. They were already on a little bit of a run because New York announced that they could reopen uh, movie theaters. And so I actually like AMC as a recovery stock. I haven't done a full DD to find out what their fair value is, but the bottom line is with the last pump here, GameStop saved AMC by, they were able to wipe out like almost all their debt. And so they can stay open. So now all of a sudden, if we have this big reopening trade triggering a move in these stocks, now the GameStop trade on top of it, I would actually feel safer buying some AMC. And that's what I did. I just bought a couple hundred shares. You know, I'm not going to put crazy amounts in these risky stocks, but I wanted to own a little AMC anyway. I sold puts on it that I'm making money on now. Um, it's definitely safer to buy something like AMC, I guess, since it's not run up as much as GameStop. But who knows with this after hours action? Um, actually, it's up a lot after hours. So I'm looking at during the intraday, it was at nine bucks. This started pumping into the close. Let's see what it's doing after hours. Yep. So. Once the news of GameStop, yeah, and I think I already mentioned that. Let's see what else What else pumped last time. Let's see if the other follow trades are working. BlackBerry. BlackBerry going nuts again, too. Holy cow. This is fascinating, fascinating stuff. All right, what else? Um, Express did well last time. I don't know why. I really hate retail, mall retail. Not a good investment, but it hasn't pumped. No, it's pumped. What is that? Three. It always feels like it's not as bad. Oh, it's only four dollars, right? But three fifty to four bucks. That's still do the math off the top of your head. What thirty percent almost? So crap's pumping. This is fascinating, fascinating stuff. Good luck, all of you out there. Try to buy safe, smart investments for the long term, the milk money way. But if you're gonna have some fun, have some fun, and good luck to you. And we'll see you tomorrow with an update, hopefully. Um, in the meantime, check out all the other more sensible investing videos on my channel uh, and the crypto videos. That's my usual way to have fun or, well, the risky videos, the risky assets that I like are crypto because I feel like they have a lot of upside. Um, this pump and dump stuff is is a little a little rich for my taste for the most part, but I do have a, a small, small position just for fun. So good luck to everybody. Thanks for watching my first live stream video here, trying to figure this all out. <laughs> uh, hopefully it wasn't too insufferable to hear me stumble through it and not edit it but thanks so much for watching if you want to see more updates and more polished videos then please like and subscribe uh, to milk money and we'll see you in the next video peace